So today's video is a full face makeup tutorial. So I'm gonna be showing you guys how to create this full coverage makeup look and we did a little bit of eyes today. So today's video is also done in partnership with Sephora. I'm super excited. I'm using a few new products to create this look. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so all the products I'm gonna be using today, you can get them at Sephora. So first I'm gonna start with moisturizing my skin with an SPF. I love using an SPF because it's going to protect my skin from the sun and whether there's sun or not, I still like to put on an SPF. So the one I'm gonna be using is this one by Laneige. It's the Hydro UV Defense Sunscreen. It has an SPF of 50. And this one is really moisturizing, so it's good even if you have dry skin. So one thing you wanna make sure that you're doing is using a good primer. So you wanna use a good primer that is perfect for your skin type. I have dry skin, so I like using primers that are hydrating and moisturizing. And if you have oily skin and you're more so concerned about oils, use a mattifying primer because that's going to help it bring the oils down on your skin. So for primer, I'm gonna use the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I love this primer, it's great for all skin types and it really just helps to grip your makeup to make sure that it stays put on your skin all day long. So with foundation, I like to take the applicator. So this is a beauty blender and I like to put the foundation at the back of my hand and I like to just pick it up with the sponge first. I've discovered that this is the best way to apply foundation for me because it allows you to place a very reasonable amount of foundation on your skin versus me going in and just placing it all over my skin and blending it out I feel like the foundation comes out a lot and it can cake up and patch up on your skin one thing about foundation is you want to make sure it matches your skin perfectly so skin tone and undertone so I'm gonna use the Giorgio Armani luminous silk foundation this one is in the shade 11.5 if your foundation does not match your skin perfectly you can mix it with another shade to get the perfect match but if your foundation matches perfectly you're makeup look comes out super flawless. I love this foundation because it has a really nice silky velvety texture so it gives your skin like this nice filtered look. It's also a medium coverage foundation so it's not going to be too much on your skin. You can definitely build it up to a full coverage if you wish but I absolutely just love the finish. It looks super silky and skin like like very natural. So I like to take whatever's left on the applicator and just quickly go over my nose. I don't like to place too much product at the center of my face because the center of my face builds a lot of oils. So I don't wanna place too much product on there because it's going to cause my skin to produce even more oils. All right, so next I'm gonna go ahead and apply concealer. And for concealer, I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Radiant Concealer. So this concealer is a medium to full coverage concealer. So it's going to help cover up your dark under eyes and I feel like it's very buildable and it gives a really nice radiant finish. So with concealer, I like to focus on the inner corners of my eye and because this is a medium to full coverage concealer, I like to place a little bit on my forehead area, down the bridge of my nose and on my chin area. So I like to just blend this out with a beauty sponge. This concealer is really easy to blend. So you can use a brush or a beauty blender I feel like a beauty blender really blends it flawlessly. As you can see, the concealer gives a really nice medium coverage. It covers up my dark under eyes and it also has this nice radiant finish on my skin. So it leaves your skin like really nice and glowy. So next I'm going to structure my face with contour. And for contour, I'm gonna use the Fashion Fair Foundation Stick in the shade Chocolate Darling. And so with contour, I like to make sure I am placing it right where the shadows on my face are. So right where my cheekbones are, I like to place it right underneath and then you want to place a little bit on your forehead area closer towards your hairline and I'm gonna place a little bit right here for my nose contour and lastly on my jawline and I'm gonna go ahead and use a beauty blender and I'm using the side that I use for the foundation and I'm blending the contour upwards I love using foundation sticks for contour because I feel like they're easier to blend on the skin. They have the texture of foundation, so they're very easy to blend with a beauty blender or a brush, and they don't dry up on your skin too fast. So next after contour, I'm gonna go in with the cream bronzer. So I'm gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Sunkissed Glow Bronzer. I love this bronzer because it has a really nice smoothing finish. It's very, very silky and smooth on the skin. And you can use this also for your face and your body. And with bronzer, I like to focus it above the contour just because that will add that warmth onto your skin, making your skin look really nice and healthy. So I like to use a beauty blender to blend it out. And I like to just press it on 
onto my skin and drag it all the way out towards your hairline. Now I like to apply my cream bronzer first before setting my skin because all cream products should go on first on your skin before you apply powder because cream becomes really hard to blend on top of powder because if you apply cream on top of powder your makeup starts becoming patchy so you don't want that. So next I'm gonna go ahead and apply blush and for blush I'm gonna use the Rare Beauty Soft Pinch Blush in the shade Grace and for blush I like to focus it on the higher points of my cheekbones so to blend it out I like using a brush just because I feel like it leaves the pigment on the skin so when you set it with setting powder you can still see that pigment on the blush and I like to drag it upwards as well this is also going to help lift your face because this is a liquid blush I want to apply it before applying setting powder this is going to add color onto your skin so it's going to make your skin look really nice and soft and because this is a liquid blush I like to place a very small amount and I love these rare beauty blushes because they're really really pigmented and they dry on your skin matte so I feel like matte blushes tend to stay on the skin longer especially liquid matte blushes all right so now it's time to set all this dewiness on the skin and for setting powder I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush brightening flawless finish powder I like to take a flat tapered fluffy brush and just press that on all the areas that I applied concealer to help set that concealer and also to help control those oils personally I like using finishing powders on the skin because I feel like they give you that smooth finish compared to setting powders that just set liquid products all right so next I'm gonna go ahead and work on my eyebrows and my eyes so for eyebrows I like to just start by brushing up my eyebrow hairs this allows your eyebrows to go in one direction first before applying your eyebrow product and for my eyebrows I love using an eyebrow pen so I'm gonna use this one by Anastasia this is the brow pen in the shade dark brown so I just like to go with the natural direction of my eyebrow hairs and just fill it in I feel like this gives more of that fluffy eyebrow look it looks really natural so for those of you guys who don't know Sephora has a beauty insider program as you shop at Sephora you get to earn points and you can use those points on purchases which is really good because you can save big okay so when you sign up you start as an insider and then you can go up to becoming a VIB member and then you can level up to being a Rouge customer so if you haven't signed up I would highly recommend signing up because who doesn't want to earn points so I like to just draw some natural eyebrow hairs with this eyebrow pen and then I like to go in with a spoolie and brush it upwards to help mend it with my natural eyebrow hairs. So next I'm going to clean up the eyebrows and I'm going to use this NARS concealer. So this is a soft matte concealer in the shade Amon. And I like to just focus on cleaning the eyebrows on the outer portion of my eyebrows. I feel like this gives it more of a natural look and it helps to highlight my brow bone as well without actually adding highlighter onto my brow bone. All right, so for eyeshadow today, I'm going to use the Natasha Denona Mini bronze palette so I'm gonna start off with this shade right here as a base and I'm gonna place this shade right inside my crease but I'm focusing it also above my crease this is going to be the transition shade and I like to apply this in circular motion I love this palette because it's super natural looking and you can use it for an everyday type of eyeshadow look it has a lot of warm tone browns and a lot of neutral colors so I always like to start with warm tone shades as transition shades because I feel like they help warm up your crease so when you apply the other shades, it just gives that nice smooth transition from one shade to the other. Next shade I'm going to pick up is this warm orange shade and with this shade I'm going to focus it on the outer part of my eye. This is going to help deepen up that first shade we applied. And I'm also going to bring this inside my crease. All right, so next I'm going to go in with this deeper brown shade. And I'm going to also place that on the outer part of my eye. I'm not bringing it towards the crease area. This is going to help darken up that second shade we applied. For the eyelid shade, I'm going to use this shimmer shade right here. And I'm going to place that right on my eyelid area. This is going to add that sparkly type of look. And for the eyelid area, I like to just pat that eyeshadow on there instead of blending it in because if you rub it back and forth in windshield wiper motion, you're going to get a lot of fallout and you don't want that after you've already applied your face makeup. 
Then for the inner corners, I'm gonna apply this light shade right here. This is going to help open up my eyes more. And I like to do this because I have smaller eyes. So if you have even smaller eyes, you definitely wanna place a lighter shade on the inner corner. So for the bottom of my eyes, I'm gonna pick up this dark brown shade and I'm gonna tie that in with the outer part of my eyes. So this helps to close in the outer part of your eyes. And I'm gonna bring that, I would say about three quarters of the way. So now I'm gonna go ahead and apply mascara and I'm gonna use this Ilia Beauty Fullest Volumizing Mascara. All right, so now I'm gonna set my whole skin. So I'm gonna use the Milk Hydro Grip Set and Refresh Spray. So I like to spritz this all over my skin to just help meld the makeup to my skin so it looks skin-like. So while I let this dry on my skin, I'm gonna go in with the Rare Beauty Lip Liner in the shade Strong to line my lips. Then for lipstick, I'm gonna use the NARS Power Matte Lipstick. This is in the shade Thunder Kiss. I like to go in with blotting powder and that's going to help absorb all these oils on my skin. So I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Beauty Invisimat Blotting Powder in the shade Universal. And I like to take a little bit of that powder and I like to just focus on all the areas of my skin that are very oily. This is going to help tame those oils and it's going to give you like a soft matte finish on your skin. I like to avoid placing the Invisimat powder around this area because I feel like this gives your skin such a skin-like look. So you wanna leave this area so it looks nice and highlighted and I like to just focus it around here, forehead, a little bit on my eyebrows because I don't like when my eyebrows are oily. I also like to place this powder on my chin area as this area tends to get really oily and around my mouth. All right, so here we have it with this full face tutorial. And I wanna give a huge thank you to Sephora for sponsoring today's video. All the links to all the products will be left in the description box down below. And also you get free standard one to three day shipping on all merchandise orders for Beauty Insider members. No minimum purchase required. Guest checkout orders receive free standard one to three day shipping with a $50 minimum purchase. A huge thank you to Sephora for sponsoring today's video but other than that I will see you guys in my next video KLJ welcome to a channel where it's